What's up, I Like Scary? We are back. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. It feels great to be a horror fan. You guys, today we're going to talk about some Halloween ends news, man, and um, probably a little bit of speculation. Um, But, you guys, so John Carpenter had like an interview with like Sci-Fi, I want to say, and um, he talked to him, and you guys already know what came up. The upcoming horror film that we're all excited for, Halloween Ends. So, you you guys, um, if you're watching my past video I dropped yesterday, it was about Chris Nelson saying that the movie was weird. Uh, you know, shout out the thing with two heads. Love those guys. But, yeah, you know, Chris Nelson said it's weird, but he thinks we're going to dig it. And I'm going to touch on that a little bit more. So I just thought about some stuff. But, basically, to get started with the new news with John Carpenter. John Carpenter, you know, said that. You'll see it's a departure from the others. It's interesting. Dave is really good. Is, is a really good director. I love working with him. Carpenter tells us. So, that's pretty much what he said. So, you guys, a lot of these this news that has been coming behind Halloween ends is it's like a miss. It's like it's kind of like. It's turning us away from it in a way. You know, not turning us away from it. Um, I'm going to say it's giving us a head scratching moment. You know, it's like that perfect. So it's just like, I just feel like he says it's a departure from other Halloweens. What the fuck does that supposed to mean? What does that supposed to mean? It's a departure. Then we get Chris Nelson saying it's weird. And then before that, we get like Nick Castle saying it's a twisted ending. And then before that, we get Jamie Lee talking about it's going to fuck us up. So we get Jamie Lee saying it's going to fuck us up. We get the shape Nick Castle saying that it's going to be a twist and ending. Oh, yeah. And to throw in James Jew, he also said he loves the ending. It was like emotional and they cried together or something like that with Jamie Lee, I want to say. And Chris Nelson saying it's weird. And now we got John Carpenter himself saying it's a departure from other films. So I'm going to tell you guys what I think. <clears throat> So I think John Carpenter, man, with, with him saying it's kind of scary because like we all want that same pace. We're all we're, we're hungry. We're hungry for that that '78 feel. We want it. We want that what we were raised on with our favorite horror movie, and we just want it. '78. You know, for me, I want more stalking. I just want more '78. Myers behind the tree. You know, some shots of him from like the back. He's walking, and you know, maybe we. What they mean by this, you think, you know, I got you guys, I think, what they mean, it's like more character build up, you know, kind of with ends in 2018 and describe characters where they kind of just throw them at us. Like, here's Allison, you know, and, and here's Hawkins, and uh, here's Karen, you know, it was like, you know, we didn't like Karen, I don't know about you guys and Tequils, I didn't, but it's just like, you know, they kind of threw them out to us. So, I feel like <clears throat> it's going to be more character build up, so when the kills, happen they hit harder you know because we're not going to have that many kills from what david gore grand saying um but when they do happen and they're going to kind of fulfill our needs for the kills we want to see so it's going to just be like once they happen it's like emotional attachments to this character so it hurts like with every kill that myers complete so that's what i think man i think another thing i don't know you guys don't want to hear this what they say about weird i think they're going to explain you know i've seen that they're saying that they're saying that um, and is going to focus more on the boogeyman, like it's going to focus on the boogeyman and, you know, less of, you know, just other things. So uh, they're not saying they're focusing on Michael, they're saying the boogeyman, which the which is the evil inside of him, the shape, you know, him being the, the, the essence of evil. They're going to explain it, you know, and I feel like it's going to be more to the weird stuff that Chris Nelson touched on. Um, also with John Carpenter, because, you know, what's, what's so different, we don't, and, and you know, in, in 78, I mean, it already was like, wow, you know, the, the movie and stuff, so when they say, when they say, you know, basically that it's going to be a, a departure from the other ones, what the fuck does that post to mean? You know, it's scary in a way, it's very scary in a way, because it's like, now we're, calling, we're knowing for a fact, almost, hearing from the man's mouth himself, that it's going to be very different from 78, and we were kind of... Like, you know, sitting on it like it's 78 and all that. So, I think it's just going to explain evil more, man. I've, like I told you guys, man. I know I'm not. I don't never try to feed you guys bullshit, I promise. But, man, I've been hearing stuff about Glass Hill. 
that evil passed on to a kid patient, possibly like another type of Myers in Haddonfield. He's like, got an obsession with him, and it's like two killers out there, but we have the real Michael out there thinking the whole town, and it's Michael killing, but it's another person, and it's like weird, and stuff like that, I swear. So, that is weird. I'm gonna be honest, that's weird. Like, you know, someone having an obsession with Michael in his movie, and it's like, you know, it's some Jamie Lloyd shit. I don't want to see nothing Jamie Lloyd. I love Daniel Harris, but I don't want to see anyone mocking Michael Myers. Let the, This is the last film, man. Go out the right way. Give us a handshake out the theater. I just think, bro, two words that I think they're aiming for with ends. Evil explained. I think that they're trying to explain evil, you guys. Uh, not in a Rob Zombie way, but almost in like a like on paper like on paper type of way like kind of make it seem like michael has like a mental this of course he has a mental disorder but they're just trying to make it be on paper if that makes sense like they want to clean it up they don't want to end it off like when it's like he's out there in the ether the buggy man the essence of even more he kills the more he transcends they're not comfortable with that i feel like they want to make it more cleaner and it's like a sad thing that we will always be able to go back to and say yeah michael was this this is why Michael did this without anyone like really, you know, I think that's what they're aiming for and, and that shit. <clears throat> of course when they like, you know approach us with whatever they got under their sleeves It's going to look weird because Michael we thinking that this man is a, a being that's just psychotic and evil when he loves killing but I think that's going to be the case, but it's going to be a little extra on it. Like, it's going to be a little extra. They're going to try to clean them up, like I said. But I definitely feel, you know, they're saying how to feel, you know, citizens will be leaving. I think Lori and Allison definitely will leave. But like I said, maybe Allison will be hard-headed to come back. And it starts something. And it starts something with Michael and... And it's back. And, you know, Lori's the one that's in the back backfield. She doesn't want to deal with this shit. She just lost her daughter, but her granddaughter now is just like you. So now, Laura, you see what happens with you. You you kind of told everybody about what's going on and then listen, but now they're becoming you, and now you're becoming them. So now Allison is the one that's going to be Lori Stroll 2018. She's going to go out. She's going to be stressing it. She killed my mom. The boogeyman's real. The boogeyman's real. So I think that's what's going to happen. And, you know, we still got Lindsay. So I've already told you guys this. I don't know if you guys seen the picture. It's like they're on there, like I think they want to sit there on set, got the final girl shirts and stuff like that. Of course, they're going to be rocking out together, but I already kind of can see what's going to happen. I think either Lance is going to die first, and it's going to be Allison and um. Lori, a grandmother and a granddaughter duo, or Lori's going to die first. It's going to be Lindsay and Allison. And they're going to grow. They're going to grow together emotionally, and they're going to fight the boogeyman at the end. I can see that happening. Um, I don't know, man. I just. John Carpenter saying the, the departure stuff is kind of iffy, man, because that's the man who created the boogeyman and everything. And, you know, we got Chris Nelson saying, it's weird. It's, you know, it's different. I dig it. But it's like, I dig it. You know what I'm saying? You guys, maybe I'm ODing on it, bro. bro. It's like, it's kind of like we're trying something new. And they're going to like it because it's, you know, it's their work and stuff like that. But, um... Of course, though, I just feel like I say I'm never going to be negative about Halloween ends or nothing like that because I'm I'm loving the fact that Michael is back in the horror world and stuff and we're getting Michael Myers uh, in our face. So I I'm excited. Um, but like I said, be prepared to see something different from 78 from the comments of John Carpenter. It's not going to be the same. I think they're just going to show that Michael is a beast. He's a beast, bro. Like, he's just different. He's a... Uh, the, the, it's not just like he just in like you know he he is evil you know from that night he killed Judith but it's like he's been evil he snapped but it's kind of going to be explained in a way why he does this maybe they explain the window you know why he looks in the window even though it's like a reflection of him they're saying it's like a reflection of Myers and stuff like that so yeah you guys um I I just want you guys to know that man i think this is going to be a good film and it's going to kind of explain what loomis was talking about also you know the blackest eyes the devil's eyes you know also what laurie was talking about the more he kills the more he transcends into something that can be defeated with brute force i feel like bro that is it's a reason why you gotta think at the end of the day it's a movie so it's a reason why they're putting these quotes behind these scenes man you know and stuff like that and it's a reason why they put that scene where he kills karen after we see baby myers in the window it's gonna be a lot of stuff like that i think they're gonna try to almost explain in the low a low-key type of way 
Um, I don't think they're gonna, cause they know how we feel about Rob Zombies Halloween, so I don't think they're gonna go that route. I think they're gonna do it in a more safe zone route, like, you know, give it to us, they're gonna feed it to us differently. Um, so I feel, you know, I'm very confident in that. But you guys, just any day, man, I think we can get that trailer. And I feel like we're gonna get a lot of more understanding once we, uh, we get the trailer and stuff. But yeah, you know, um, they're talking about Glass Hill, so. It's so many freaking speculations out there, but none of them you know, are out of this world insane when you think about it. Some of them are kind of like, hmm? You know, but um, yeah, man, I, I will not be surprised if they do like an evil passed on type of thing, man, because that's where it's kind of leading to. Because I haven't seen, no oh, like the people, you know, they're how they say, well, it's a good movie. You're going to see Michael at his best and everything. They're saying like, it's weird. It's going to fuck you up. The ending is a twist. Uh, you know, there's gonna depart from the other Halloweens. Now that was the worst comment I've heard out of everyone's comment. John Carpenter saying basically it's not gonna be what we're used to. That's basically what he's saying. It's not gonna be the Halloween movie that you're used to. It's gonna be different. And yeah, so get ready for it. You know, so I just hope that it's um what we're used to, like, but in a different with a little di bit difference. And I don't don't close us out with something that's so OD, but yeah, you guys, this is the end of the video. Um, don't forget to hit me up on my social media. It's I like scary on Instagram. I like scary 77 on TikTok. Brandon Allen on Facebook. I like scary on Twitter. And don't forget, you guys, become a member of the Patreon. and exclusive content and benefits of the channel. And also, you guys, right there where it says subscribe next. So you can click join and become a member of the channel to get exclusive benefits. And you guys can get into private watch parties, pick the films you want to watch. And yeah, don't forget to check out the freaking I like scary merch store. I got some new merch dropping here soon and yeah you guys watch some horror movies stay scary out there i love you all i like scary peace